How you doing guys? We're here at Disneyland. We're gonna be walking around trying to find some tasty food yes. and just hanging out. This is a Disneyland vlog. I kinda wanna get a birthday pin because it is almost my birthday like in a few days. All right. So Maybe get that, but also the sun keeps going in and out, but that's not gonna stop us from no. having a good time. Today. Even though it's a little cloudy, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Hopefully the sun comes out fully later. Yes. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go to City Hall and get you that pin. Yes, I'm so excited. It's been yeah. a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you guys join us today on this Magic Journeys vlog? Here we go. It looks like City Hall is under construction. You can hear yeah. it like drilling or something. It looks like the tarps are up. I know. <laughs> At least it still looks like it's still there. It's not just plain tarps. They add a little bit. Color. Yeah, they actually added a picture this yeah. time. <laughs> so we know it's City Hall. Yeah. Now, I wasn't again my birthday pin here at City Hall, but I decided to go to the merchandise store because if you guys didn't know, you can actually get them at the merchandise store locations or food and beverage locations. So I say let's head over to the Emporium and get myself that birthday pin. I'm such a fan of these little pops here. They're so basic, but they're very cool. Very cute, too. You got your button. I did. There it is. She said it was free 99. I didn't get it. I was like, free 99? How much is that? And I'm like, oh wait, free 99. <laughs> Birthday is coming up real soon. Like in a few days, I mean, yeah. less than five days. We gotta celebrate. Well, we gotta eat something because we I haven't know. eaten anything. I was thinking either Jolly Holiday, but I'm kind of craving closet in. Ooh, double I mash know. on double that mash. chicken. Also, I just realized my nail fell off. <laughs> I don't know where. It's somewhere either at home or here. Oh, but no. I, just, I was doing this right now. I'm like, wait. I think I lost the nail. So don't look at this hand. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get some chicken then? Yeah, come on. Come Let's on. do the chicken. We're going to the Plaza Inn. It smells so good out here, guys. The aroma is fantastic. And it's that chicken. Yeah, I wonder if they brought back that, that, thank that you. chef salad. Hi, thank you. The chef salad? Yeah. So they sell this salad, like cob salad, that was like my favorite thing. And they got rid of it and they brought back the Southwest salad, which I liked. And they got rid of that one. And I don't know what salad is now. First thing you gotta do is grab a tray. Got one, got two. Seems like every time I'm in here, I start to see the pasta side, and I'm like, maybe I want a pasta, but I know in the end of the day, I'm gonna get chicken. <laughs> I'm just, it's gonna happen. So but why you even take a question pot myself? Roast and you're like, wait a minute, now do I want the pot roast? <laughs> see, that's a challenge. No, you're know. at the Plaza Inn. You have to get, get the chicken. chicken. Always. Okay, so this pop salad, if you haven't had it here at Plaza Inn, try it it's one of my favorites here and they got rid of it for a quick second and i got really sad but they brought it back so yay here comes the croutons the best part <laughs> thank you all right you got it huge let's go double get the mash. chicken there it is and then here we always do double mash we're gonna get some double you could always ask for double if you want I like green beans, but you know, the mashed potatoes are, it's my style. <laughs> Thank you so much. There it is. And Janelle got herself an extra biscuit. Oh yeah, want me to help you? No, I got it. You got it? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> is that a POV shot? It's a POV tray <laughs> shot. All right, so we we're trying to get a table inside. That didn't work out, so we're gonna go outside and see if we find one out there. <laughs> Sorry. A very busy day here at Disneyland. I guess this will do. That's perfect. Got our table. <laughs> How did you guys like being a part of the first tray cam ever here on Magic Journeys? I finally got my food. We decided to sit outside because there was no seating inside. It's fresh out here. It's a beautiful day, so we don't mind it. But now we got our chicken. Janelle's got our salad. We're gonna enjoy our meal out here off Fresco. Look at this huge salad. Wow, I'm so happy it's back. It's been a minute if it's still good which I'm pretty sure it is well they, they won't they won't attach to my fork <laughs> there we go still as good as she liked it before please do not get rid of this salad mm -mm. This do you like, like the Cobb salad here or do you like the Cobb salad over at Walt Disney World at the Brown Derby mm, here mm -hmm. oh ho, ho. you heard it here mm -hmm. give me soft biscuits you guys ready there you go. They're very crumbly. Mm -hmm. 
Plaza Inn, you guys already know that every time I'm here, I always have to get the double mash. Now, a lot of people like green beans, but I've been hearing a lot in the comments that a lot of you guys love the double mashing. You've been doing it this way, and that's good. I love to hear that. And I also got myself a little biscuit here, which it comes with the meal, and three pieces of chicken. Oh, I can't wait to take a bite. I always go with the drumstick first. What do you guys buy first when you're here? You go for the drumstick or do you go for something else? <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. This is a very popular place for a lot of people. For all you guys out there, like where do you guys usually go for dinner? Do you guys come to the Plaza Inn? Do you guys have like your own spot like Pizza Planet or the Cafe Orleans? Let me know. I kind of yeah. want to know. <laughs> for us, it's going to be the Plaza Inn. Always, always. This place is the go. The go-to. <laughs> You know, the Astro Orbiter is back in its place. I know. Is it just me? It has always been like silver. You know, sometimes I thought it was like royal blue. I thought it was gold. You thought it was gold? Yeah, I thought the whole thing was in gold, but apparently it wasn't for a long time. It's been silver. I thought it was like that blue, like <laughs> that royal blue. Wait, you know what you're thinking of? I think you're thinking of the 50th anniversary when they had yes, everything gold. Yes, I think you're right. I think, I think, I think. Because for a time, I remember those spheres were gold. Yeah. And now there's silver, so yeah. That's it's nice. crazy how your mind plays tricks on you. I know. It looks nice though. <laughs> I like it. Very vibrant. Yeah. They finally painted it and it's back here at Disneyland and I'm loving it. Today, where as we were eating at Plaza Inn, I saw cute little duckies roaming around, but we didn't get our camera fast enough to record it. But right next to us, there's two cute little duckies sleeping, and they have a view of the castle, and they have a nice little lake with cute flowers. I don't know about you, but that is duckies' life for me. Okay, so I saw on the app that they have this mango lime slush. Now, I'm not sure if it's new, but it's new to me, and it sounds really refreshing. What do you think? I think we should try it, because it is I getting so a little too. warm now. And <laughs> yeah, it it's, is. it's a little humid, but it yeah. is getting warm, and I think a mango, what was it, mango? Mango lime slush. Ooh, I kind of want to try it. I love slushes. Me too, and I'm like, I think it's time, I'm getting kind of thirsty, you can see the mic, you can see the Yeah, we're in fantasy land right now, <laughs> so I think we should try it. Let's go. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Yay! It's Aladdin. Look at this. It's so bright and orange. Now this is the mango lime slush. And I got it over there by the Small World Promenade. It looks really delicious. They also gave you some tajin. I'm not sure if it's for this, but I'm assuming, right? Well, I mean, let's I think it. we need to try it with the tajin too. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try this <laughs> first and then we'll add the tajin. Okay? okay. How is it? It just tastes like a, like a, like a mango soda almost. No lime, I don't taste lime. I do taste the mango though, but I want to add this. That's a lot of tahine. I know. Either you go all in or nothing, you know what I mean, with the tahine. Yeah. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> Here we go. I like it with the tahine. As I Did it make a taste. difference? Not really on the taste, no, but it added a little bit of a zesty. Okay, add a tahini. The tahini is like, it has a little bit of zing to it. You know what I mean? Ooh. A little bit of spice, but not too spice. It's like perfect. Okay, good thing I got like more than just one. Cause they gave me one, but I'm like, mm, no, maybe I should get two more. And I got two more, so yeah, this is fun. I like the color. It'll be two. Mm. It'll be really cool. And then the option to give you like that tahini rim. Oh yeah, right? or uh, what's it called? Stick? Yeah, the tamarindo stick and the uh, the chamoy. Yeah, all around it. Oh, oh, the chamoy like all in here, kind of like a mango niada. Yes. Now we're thinking. Look at us. <laughs> this is why we're foodies. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> it's it's got a, it's kind of like very mango syrupy, I guess you yeah. could say. It's very uh, how would you describe this? It's almost like an oh, artificial, but I don't mind it. Mm. Kind of thing. It's definitely very artificial. Yeah. 
but I like it. I like too. It's not too bad. It does have that taste of mango, but it's artificial. You can yeah. tell it's <laughs> very artificial tasting. But for the summer, this would be great because yeah. it would definitely keep you cool, especially when it starts getting hot. Ooh. You want to have something like this, a slush. They always have the lemon one, and now that they have a mango, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Heading over to the Rancho del Zocalo. There's yes. this new treat they have here, which we kind of tried, kind of didn't. We kind of tried, kind of didn't. It's like the Mickey Cream Puff that we had, I believe, last year in the summer, but they brought it back this year again, and but it's a different design. So I'm excited to see how it looks like. What is this? What is this fancy menu? Did you see a change? Whoa, very high tech. Look at this. Whoa, Whoa. that's new. <laughs> This is the one we're trying next, it's pretty cute. And it's uh, a cucumber mint agua fresca, that sounds really good. They have agua de jamaica, but we, we know how jamaica tastes. Cucumber mint sounds refreshing right now, so we're gonna have that. We're going with a cucumber! Wow, look at the color! That's pretty. We'll go inside, it'll see much brighter. This is the Mickey-shaped churro cream puff. It's very pretty. And it's got like white chocolate on top. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the white chocolate, but that is nice. I gotta take a bite of this. I think the last time we got this, did it have churro? I don't remember. Uh, no, I don't think it did. I don't it think it did. I think, I think last time it was a concha. Cut it right in the middle and put ice cream in it. This <laughs> is just a cream puff. And look, you can tell it's stuffed. So we got to go for the ear first. Anytime you eat anything Mickey, you always got to go for the ears for first. The ear. Always. Doesn't matter which one, just bite the ear. Oh my God. There it is. <laughs> That's good. Now, I remember Ranch of the Zocalo, they had one that was like a succulent shade. You remember that one? That was a pretty one. That was a pretty. Wow, that is good. It's very sweet. It's got that vanilla taste. That custard is almost cinnamony. And I love this. It's beautiful. And on top, you do have your little white chocolate there. That is so cute. It's a very pretty dessert. <laughs> I like it a lot. This will probably pair well with the, the chocolate that they have in there. All right? Yeah, but what do you think? Mm. Isn't it good? It's really good, actually. Wow. <laughs> I like the cinnamon custard. Wow. The outside has got like a nice crumbly bread it's and soft too. it's cinnamony, kind of like a churro. Mm -hmm. And the inside's got that vanilla cinnamon wow. taste. It's very good. I like how they really stuffed it, though. Yeah. Because sometimes they say stuff and it's like a little dollop. But no, this one they said, no, we're going to puff it up. That's packed. And it's puffed up. That's how they <laughs> should make some of the beignets over at New Orleans Square. Mm hmm. They should, but. Good. I like this. Mm, look how refreshing this looks. Now this is a cucumber and mint agua fresca over at Rancho de Zocalo, but look how refreshing, right? Wow. I know. Everyone keeps saying, the customers keep saying that this is really good, so cheers. Oh, they were right. That is good? tasty, yeah. Ooh. Nice springtime oh, drink. That tastes like freshly squeezed, like, can you squeeze cucumber? Uh, I think you have to put in a juicer. In a juicer, that's right. That explains the little pulps that they have on there, but they also <laughs> add little chunks of cucumber. Look. And uh, now I taste the mint. It like lingered at the end. <laughs> wow. And this is a brand new drink that they <laughs> yes. just brought out for spring. This is refreshing. Wow, okay. See, I like my aguas frescas with extra ice because I like it extra cold. So I think next time I go to Rancho de Zocalo to grab this drink, I'm gonna ask for extra ice. Ooh, all right. Mm. So you know how you want it. Don't skip on it, guys. It's good. <laughs> wow, it's great to see the Mark Twain Riverboat back on the rivers of America. It's been closed, or should I say it's been docked for about five months. It was under refurbishment, and now it's back, and it's looking more majestic than ever. We haven't been on the Adventureland Treehouse. Tonight no. is the night. Today is the day. Today is the day. <laughs> The Adventureland Treehouse. Today I wore my walking shoes, so it's a good thing I did because we're gonna go up a lot of steps. I want those little teapots. How precious is that? They got some paintings over here on this side that you can take a look at. Wow. 
Someone is an artist, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you get more higher, it looks way better. I remember when the Adventureland Treehouse first opened up, it was so hard to get in because everyone wanted to climb this treehouse. We finally got to do it, and let me tell you, we broke a sweat. We got to climb so many steps, and when we finally almost made it to the top, we just couldn't resist getting some video of the views on top of the Adventureland Treehouse. And looking around, what's really nice as a story is that the old water wheel is a source of the energy that's powering up the tree. There are magical waters that flow beneath the treehouse that make it come to life. And that's really cool because we got to go up there and experience it for ourselves. Really nice. We're not at the highest part of highest this part? tree yet, no. We still <laughs> got some more to go, so are you up for it? Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm up for it. <laughs> we still have to keep going up, come on. Like a little bench right here so people like us can rest for like yeah, six seconds. Yeah, we took a like second to just sit down and rest. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Mark Twain. Wow, this shot is beautiful. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see how far away we are from there. <laughs> All right. We're not there yet. Watch out for the fire ants. Fire ants. Wait, can you go in there? Be careful. I think that's an actual, like, just in case fire you sure. I think, I think. <laughs> We're testing out some gear here as you guys can see we got the osmo pocket and we brought our photo camera so we could take some pictures this is our canon m3 and it takes some really nice pictures this is the m6 mark ii i'm sorry the m6 mark ii there's so many names for these cameras But yeah, funny, we're them out. i'm taking b-roll and i'm like i feel like i feel like i need to be quiet in order to get the right <laughs> shot that's me right now. I'm like, I really have to be quiet for this shot when I don't really have to be. <laughs> there they are. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my god. Get the paper from him. Get the paper from him. Right now, I'm testing the Osmo Pocket and I'm trying to see what it looks like during the day. I don't really use this camera much and I should start using it because guys, the stabilization on this thing is phenomenal. And I hear the audio is also fantastic. So I'm gonna find that out once I start editing this and <laughs> see it what like, it sounds like. I know, right? All over the place. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure it sounds great. I'm pretty sure. The colors look fantastic. The stabilization is amazing. And I could just walk with you normally and not worry about it being all over the place. such a powerful little tool the osmo pocket 3 very cool how small these cameras are getting and what they can do and right here on the bottom i got myself a little battery grip originally this thing would only record like about an hour and now with this on the bottom i got an extra three so four hours total on this camera very cool i sit down my backpack and i was a little bee on there oh he likes your backpack <laughs> It's purple, that's why. Oh, uh, Mr. B likes the backpack. <laughs> so this little camera here can do slow motion and I kind of want to test it out. I've never tried the slow-mo on little Osmo. And maybe we should face this way and see what kind of <laughs> shots we can get. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's funny? We haven't uh, been a slow motion moment in such a long time. Yeah, usually I used to do all these nice little slow motion right. shots. I haven't done them in a while, <laughs> but let's see what this guy can do. Let's try it out. So this is a shirt I got the other day. It's a Pixar shirt and I kind of want to show you guys and I don't know if this store is going to have it, but let's go inside and see if they do. I just love these hats. I they give too. me those retro vibes. I know, like 90s, right? Yeah, like family on vacation, 1990s camcorder <laughs> retro yes, vibes. There you go. <laughs> yeah, these two. Yeah, I you have, the have that. One. You have the goofy one? Mm -hmm, I have the goofy one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. The, you don't have Donald? I don't have Donald. I think I might yes. get him. I don't know. What do you guys think? These hats are awesome. This one is $24.99. I wonder if anyone else who watches us wears these type of hats. I, they're goofy, but listen, they're fun. Now we went into the store and we tried to see if they had those 
Pixar shirts. I did buy one over at the World of Disney and they're really cool. They're very colorful and they're gonna get you prepared for Pixar Fest, but they didn't have them in that little store. Maybe later we'll go over to the World of Disney and show you what they look like because they're very, very cool. But first, you have to walk over to Galaxy's Edge because they have a new cold room and we've been up since 7 a.m. <laughs> and it's about, what, what like 6 p.m.? I think it's time for a pick-me-up. At Katsaka's, I think? Come on. Yeah, we're Katsaka's at again. Galaxy's Edge. It's been a while since we've been over there, so it's nice that we're going to go back and we're going to try this new coffee yes. at the Katsaka. Here we are. We're gonna see if we can get this new pool of blossom slush while I turn out the ISO. Pool of blossom slush. Pretty cool. So over at Katsaka's, I had to get myself the new pool of blossom slush. Now it's a plant-based ube flavored orchata with cold brew right on top. I love the color. And by the way, she said happy origin, and I'm like, origin story? What do you mean? And she said <laughs> it meant it means happy birthday here in Batu. Yeah, so instead of saying happy birthday, they'll say happy origin day. I that's that crazy. Cool? Yeah. I'm like, is this my origin story? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so cheers, here we go. Wow. This is the perfect balanced coffee. And you know, I'm a coffee queen. This is like perfectly balanced. Now, I wouldn't compare it to the black calf because the black calf is with ice. This one's a slushy form. But this one kind of has a beat. It's really tasty. And I feel like I would gravitate towards this more in the summer because it would be, I mean, it's a slushy. I feel like I'll be more refreshing. But this is tasty. You want to try it? Does it taste like horchata? I forgot that it was horchata. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit. Like a little bit of cinnamon flavor. All right. I'll try it. Let's see. We have to try it. I'd rather go with the black half. And I'm not the biggest cold brew person, yeah. but the black half to me is probably a little bit better right. than this. Like if I were going to choose like a cold brew to kick me up, I feel like I would go with the black half yeah. than this one. It's still good. But it's really good. It's still yeah. good. But the black half takes the win on this one. <laughs> We didn't promise to bring you over to the world of Disney because they bought Pixar merch. They have all this merch yeah. and this shirt that's really cool. We need to show them. We need to show them. Come on, let's go. Come on. All right, here we are. The World of Disney store at Downtown Disney. I think I found something I want. Isn't that cute? Stop it's it. It's a Minnie Mouse mirror. Look, you can see me in there. Hi, guys. <laughs> I want it. Wow. It's a cute little mirror for your vanity. Which is this? Thirty four ninety nine. It's cool though. It's so cute. Yeah. Can you guys see yourself here? That's all you guys. <laughs> There's some morning Marshall we just found. It's like a cute little puffer bag. Whoa! Look. Do you think it floats in the pool? I don't think it's gonna float in the pool. But... I don't think so either. Don't try that. I hope. <laughs> I like it though. I like it too. Guys, I'm excited to show you this. These are Star Wars umbrellas. They're lightsaber umbrellas. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, and they light up. So. <laughs> I think right now they won't light up because I don't think they have the batteries inside. Let's push the button. No, it's not lighting up. But these are so cool. Pull them out in the rain. Trust me, everyone will be asking you where you got these umbrellas. And, and you you'll can be tell the them what? The Disney. talk of the town? <laughs> yeah. These cool ears from Loungefire are giving everything. I love the puffy ears. You know, come on. This is what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the other ones are kind of flimsy. They're very thin. <laughs> these are thick. These are these are thick, and I love it. They're like a nice blue metallic. I like them. Thirty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah. It's cute. All right, Janelle, we're almost there. It's right on the other side. We're almost there. It's really busy in this store today, so we're kind of like we're, we we're trying to go that. through the crowd. This was the last time too. It was so busy. <laughs> So guys, right behind me is the new merch. It's a lot of Pixar merch, and they have this beautiful shirt with a lot of different colors. It's got Buzz, it's got Rex, it's got all these characters on there, and it looks beautiful. If you guys love colorful shirts, it's a very vibrant one. I had to get one, it's great. <laughs> 
Guys, look at this sweater here. It's nice, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. It kind of reminds me of those old retro vintage cups. The ones I used to have the blue line. Oh, Everyone does. knows. Yeah. <laughs> right? This is nice though. I like, I like the, the colors. colors. Yeah. I like it. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, I have to get this. I was this. screaming your name. I was screaming, Be cap, pick me up. <laughs> well, Before Pixar Fest out. is coming. Wouldn't that be an awesome shirt? I know. Shirt for this it? is an awesome shirt. Yeah. Love it. I said, Why do I keep modeling things? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very cool. I'm glad we got to bring you guys to the World of Disney Store and show you that merch. I had to get that shirt. I know. If, listen, that shirt was screaming your name. I don't yeah. know about you, but I've heard your name being screamed at. Well, I'm glad that <laughs> Pixar Fest is coming up and I finally have a nice button up I can wear. Yes. Guys, I read your comments. Thank you for loving the vlogs thank you, that thank we you. do. It really means a lot to us. Thank you for the support and thank you for everything you guys do. And if you haven't left a like, Leave a like, help us out. We just want to say we love you guys. Thank you for watching our videos. And if you haven't subscribed, Luke, what are you doing? <laughs> it's time to subscribe. We just want to say we love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.